AMD is set to launch Ryzen 9 9950HX 3D processor. NVIDIA DLSS 4 expected to be announced with GeForce RTX 50 series. Color shares their Radeon RX 9070 XT Red Devil. Redditor has made a mock-up about their RTX 50's Founders Edition GPU. And lastly, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5090 and 5080 TDP has been leaked. Okay, so first what we have from HXL, he has reported this that 9950 HX 3D is particularly coming very soon. Of course, we have this particular information from Weibo Forum, of course, and this is the translation we're looking at. And it says that Aralek HX products, which is going to be the 255 HX and 275 HX, has not improved much and it also confirms that amd mobile terminals will have 1950 hx 3d products so that is pretty much confirmed that 1950 hx 3d will be coming pretty much soon with amd next generation mobile lineup of course so that's quite fascinating even mobile lineup is getting x 3d processors and the highest flagship will be 1950 hx 3d of course the specs will be similar to the previous generation no doubt about that 16 core 32 threads and other information of course will be leaked hopefully we'll see about that next up we have something interesting here rtx 5080 pricing information has been leaked here with something else which is the dlss 4 so let's look into the pricing first rtx 5080 will be priced at 1699 euros that's gonna be the asus pricing without vat and tax that should be around 1349 usds so that's not a bad pricing not gonna lie or should i say not a great pricing compared to amd Wait a minute, AMD doesn't really have any comparison for the RTX 5080, so that's a bummer. Anyways, we also have more information about the DLSS 4. So DLSS 4 is confirmed coming with RTX 50 series. That is without a doubt coming as copy the 7 Kimmy has also confirmed that DLSS 4 is true. So it is coming. And next up, we have something interesting. PowerColor has teased their PowerColor Red Devil GPU. That is probably going to be the 9070 XT, which is no doubt about that because PowerColor is an AMD be sponsored so we have more information from video cards here and let's look into more in-depth pictures which is as you can see right over here this is the power color this is pr probably the previous ge generation design are likely the same but it has some differences definitely but all in all it looks pretty good not gonna lie we also see one particular thing here which is that this is the 9070 xt that they're gonna go for however this is the 7800 x 7800 xt i think that is the 7800 xt that utilized two of the eight pins but this time around they might be going for three pins for the 9070 xt and it's gonna uh, you know take in a lot of power definitely for sure so i guess they're gonna increase one more pin and they're not, not going for 12 bhpwr pins so definitely they're sticking with the classic classical version of it I, I call it classic because it has been the standard for a long time so i think it's going to be three pins and the same design for the 9070 xt i guess next up we have an interesting article from video cards here and it says renders by redditor bb the bunny so this particular redditor has shared some information about the rtx 50 founders edition design and it looks like it has changed a lot pretty much so as you can already tell the fans are not in two sides rather in the same side of the pcb or the heatsink so this time around they're not going for the same side fans or they might be possibly they're going for three fan design not sure if that is the case here because i can't really tell if there's a fan underneath because you know in the previous design there was a fan right underneath and one is on top of course but in this case we are looking at two fans on top so i am not sure if if there's any other fan underneath the pcb again this could be just a random render it, it, it might not be the final design but at least we have to consider these leaks of course so this is the gpu we're looking at here we don't see the underneath here again we can't really tell if there is any fan underneath the gpu but all we can tell for sure is that they're going for two fans on top of the heat sink this time around so that is pretty much the case so we'll see if this if it's gonna be a three fan design or two fan design but this time around they are shifting to the previous classical designs of gpus and lastly we have something interesting here hongshing 2020 has shared this particular information here which is the 2025.1.3 update which is three january of course next gen 90 series which is gonna be the next gen rtx 5090 will have 575 tdps which is close to 600 watts which was previously assumed but it seems like it's going to be 25 watts less and it's going to be 575 watts 
Also, a copy of the 7 Kimi has added this particular information, which is that RTX 5080 will be 360 watts. So, clearly, between RTX 5090 and RTX 5080, there's a huge gap in terms of TDP. 360 versus 3600. We can easily put another GPU like a 5080 Ti or even a 5080 Super. Who knows? We can input two of these GPUs between these two TDP levels. I'm surprised that RTX 5080 is this much efficient. 360 watts. It is pretty efficient, not gonna lie. Even for an RTX 5090, 575, it's not crossing 600 watts. So it is pretty much efficient. That is impressive. But anyway, it is clear that RTX 5080 and RTX 5090 will have TDP of 360 and 575 watts respectively. And there will be two more GPUs between them. Again, that is probably my guess. But if I have to calculate, there should be at least one more GPU between these two cards. Maybe like 400 watts or even 500. 500 watts they can easily put two gpus between them easily so we can expect two more gpus between these two gpus so that is quite interesting all right so what do you think about this particular design here do you think they're gonna stick with this particular design it looks good not gonna lie it looks decent enough but i'll be honest with you the rtx 40 series or even 30 series de designs had more aesthetics in my opinion but maybe i guess this one works too what do you think comment down below and of course like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video